What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hooked on Florida Fishing. Today I'm doing something simple for you guys. If you landed on this video, you want to know what is the easiest way to put string on your rod. Stay tuned. All right, today we're gonna to use some simple tools. Now, um, unless you wanna to go to a bait shop where they do it professionally and they have the machinery for that, uh, you can do that, but this is a simple method that I use um, and it's, it worked very well. So just take a simple screwdriver. Uh, the one I'm using is the one that has the little heads. It's a little thicker in the body so you can insert this um, right into um, like that. So what I'm gonna be using is this so that the string can roll. And then what you wanna use is just another person that can help you out to hold the string tight because you want some firmness on that. So, um, so let's get started, here we go. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna stick this line right through the first hole, just like that. So you're just gonna run it down. It is as simple as this. All right, this part is very crucial. This is the big mistake that a lot of people make. They go and tie the string with the bell closed. You cannot do that because you're gonna have, you're gonna make the mistake of having to do it all over again. So what you wanna do is open the bell, all right? Now, what you wanna do is get the string it is open, you're gonna make just a simple knot. I typically just use, you know, just a regular shoestring tie. Um, just do it a couple of times. Just like that. Uh, just do it one more, just to be safe. All right. So after that is done, you wanna cut that piece off I'll do. All right. So now, simple as that, you could do, you could put a little tape on that and hold it tight, um, but that should be pretty secure there. You close the veil. Now, this is very important, guys. So what you wanna do is, you wanna have your partner hold the string, rolling as tight as possible because what you wanna do is roll that in nice and tight. If it's not tight, um, you're gonna run into some trouble of getting like um, tangled and stuff like that. So just move back as much as possible. Now what I'm doing is, you ready? Okay, so now I'm just reeling it in. Just like that. So every 30 seconds, what you wanna do is, you're going to stop. Let's see. So right about now, we're gonna stop. and make sure that that is nice and tight. So just press firmly on the string, just like that. If it feels nice and tight, you continue. So we're gonna check it again. Make sure it's nice and tight there. Feels pretty good. So you're just gonna keep going. It's going in nice and smooth. So 
make sure you watch for the line and make sure that this is looking nice and smooth and it's not bulging or anything like that because um, that can cause some problems when you're casting out. So you just continue. Now, another 30 seconds you pause. Now, what I want you guys to do right now is go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I appreciate your uh, love and support. And then let's continue. Now, it is very important, guys, that when you get string, make sure that you have the amount of yards that your reel takes. This is a 5,000 um, pen battle two, and it takes a good amount of line. Um, normally it's gonna stay right there. See monofillin, you look for the 15 pound, which is what I'm putting. So you could put 200 yards of 15 pound. If you go into 12 pound, you can put 225 yards. So make sure that you get the right amount of string because you don't wanna make it short. All right, you just keep going. How's it looking over there? Is it running out soon? Good. Yeah, make sure it doesn't run out, so. Yeah, that is looking very good. Again, make sure it's nice and tight there. It's looking good. Sure. All right, so right at this point, I stopped. So what you wanna do is leave a little bit of lip there. Don't go over the lip, because you'll have some trouble when you cast. You're gonna get the line all tangled all over. I mean, it'll go right into inside the, the reel and everything, and it's just gonna be a headache. So make sure you leave a little lip there. Make sure there's enough line. So you like to, um, the best way to do it is just kind of level it from the bottom. Make sure that there's a tiny lip there and a, a decently um, looking lip right here. So that looks pretty full to me. That is perfect. That is all. It's a simple task, guys. Um, so if you have any more questions, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below and we can definitely answer that for you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, check out those videos that we have. Thank you for your love and support. Uh, thank you for supporting Hooked on Florida Fishing. Love you guys. See you guys.